Okay, so this is a review of the Apple AirPod Pros. I have had these for two months and I'm just getting around to doing a little review on it. I know I'm pretty late to the party, sorry about that. So first I'll just go over some specs just from the Apple's website. Um, so active noise cancellation, that's the big killer feature with these. It's very, very good. I have some Bose headphones that are, um, these are just as good as those. It has a transparency mode, which is very awesome for uh, conference calls because you want to be able to hear yourself so you can kind of balance your voice on your own without like, you know, yelling and getting really quiet and that kind of thing. Uh, so that's a really cool feature. We'd recommend using that. Um, has some fancy features for the driver technology, the way that it sounds. I won't go into those here. Uh, dual beam microphones. Sorry, dual beam forming microphones. Uh, I would say the microphones are pretty, pretty good. Nobody's complained ever on conference calls or when I've been just talking to them one to one. Um, they seem to work great. There are inward facing microphones. That is mostly just for the noise cancellation. There are also motion sensors in them and force sensors in them. So the force sensors are for whether or not you're touching it and you can do play, pause, skip, activate Siri, that kind of thing. And then the motion sensors in combination with optical sensors that are in there, it can actually tell when it's in your ear or not. And it's really cool because it will um, pause the music or the video or whatever's playing when you take it in and out and you don't have to do that. It's just a nice little optimization. They're also sweat and water resistant to some extent. I don't think it has the highest rating. It's uh, IPX4, so I think that's kind of low, but it's good enough. I've definitely used them in, um, you know, in the gym and sauna situation, and they've been completely fine. So no issues there. Uh, it is a, uh, you can use the charger on a wireless charging pad. That works really great. It's very convenient. And then uh, last thing here, let's get to the battery. So the battery is 4.5 hours of listening time, five hours with everything turned off, as in noise cancellation, transparency. And then we've got 3.5 hours of talk time. So if you're on a conference call, uh, that kind of thing. So we also have Bluetooth 5.0 and that's pretty much it there. So uh, now I want to kind of get into the design of these. So this little case here, I'm showing a lot of it. And if you listen, it's just like, I don't know, they put a lot of effort into making this case. Uh, it just feels here, I'll let you listen just one more time here. It just have a very, very, very high quality feel to it. You know, when you open and close it, it's almost like, you know, closing a BMW, a Mercedes door. It's just very solid. Um, it's super comfortable in the hand, just the shape of it. Um, in your pocket, you know, it doesn't like jab you. It's, you almost like can't even feel it's there. I forget sometimes it's in my pocket. Um, it has a metal uh, hinge on it there and um, just really small. Uh, I think they killed it with that. That's one of the best things about this is the convenience of it. Uh, so more on uh, the design here. Um, it's just, again, the, the case almost makes the whole thing worth it. Uh, how it's small enough, fits in your pocket, great shape. You don't even notice that it's in there. Um, the 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 quality of the materials now i mean maybe i have seen people get little cases for it i don't know if that's necessary but um you know just very high quality um same kind of lightning connector as in any other apple device you know nice quality click in and out but you don't have to use that you can use the wireless um, but if you do want it there you know charge it up a little bit quicker now, here's just an example of how it fits into my ear. Um, and then just kind of sits there with friction 
and you can stop and start it. So I wanted to show how the animation looks on the phone. And uh, they have these cool little animations. I'm sure you've seen them, but I'm just going to show them again. It tells you how much battery is left in the case, how much battery is left in each of the AirPods, and then um, overall. So let's see here. What else can I show? Um, oh, yeah. Let's look at the uh, noise cancellation feature. So if you don't want to use the physical buttons actually on, well, they're not physical. You just it's force touch. You can do the noise cancellation, transparency, and off mode right here, and you just pull down the um, control center card, and you force press onto the volume, and then it will pop up this, where you can change the volume and then change the modes right there. And then each mode actually has a different little tone that it plays in your ear, which is kind of a cool little touch that they added. And then um, there's also another way you can look at the battery, which is if you have an iPhone, you know this already, but I'll just show it here is you can see it shows up on the, um, what do they call these little widget cards as well. So the, my final thing is I have these bows as well, and I've actually had these for a lot longer than I've had my, um, my AirPods. And these bows, they are the SoundSport wireless. They have six hours for a full charge. They have no noise cancellation or anything like that. They are super waterproof. I mean, I've taken these, like, literally dunked them in water, and they've been fine. So <clears throat> those are super, super waterproof and very robust. Um, now, sound quality-wise, though, so the AirPod Pros, to me, sound like they're a lot more optimized actually for taking phone calls than they are for music um, and uh, and for clarity. So I would say actually, even with music, even though I'm kind of dinging them, overall it has better clarity. Like you're going to hear the little details a little bit more. But I listen to a lot of bassy music, you know, EDM type stuff, and it doesn't quite have the punch that I want. And the Bose does have a bit more punch than uh, what these have, but for, um, for, for phone calls, I mean, these things are amazing. I'm on tons of conference calls, the convenience of them, the quick charge of them, um, they are just like the whole package and they're totally worth it. If you take conference calls and then you want to listen to music as a secondary thing, awesome. And music is not bad, it's just not as bassy as bass heavy as I want. Um, one other little pro tip is that if you have the noise cancellation features off, the bass is even worse. So if you want the best sound quality in terms of the bass, um, you need to actually have the noise cancellation on um, because I think they do some kind of trickery which makes it have more bass when you, when you do that. Um, at least that's in my testing. So these are definitely worth it, um, but I will just caution you, if you think that they're going to sound the absolute best, they won't sound the absolute best, but what they do have is just convenience for days, and um, I honestly would take the convenience over the slight hit in, uh, in sound quality when it comes to music, but microphone quality, in fact, I'm not sure if you noticed, but I actually have the audio for this whole video done through the AirPods. So if you want an example of how the AirPods sound in terms of their microphone, I recorded this whole video, this audio, this whole video's audio with the AirPods microphone. So if you go back and listen, that's what they sound like. And I think it's pretty good for wireless and the battery life and all of that kind of stuff. So in conclusion, I think they're great. I don't regret buying them. I would buy them again. I can't wait for 2.0. I'm probably going to buy the 2.0 version of them. Um, oh, sorry. I had one other minor critique is that they honestly don't stay in my ears as well as the bows. So if you're doing really, really extreme sports, uh, like if you're mountain biking, like I would never take these mountain biking. They'll fall out of my ears 100%. Um, and I got to wear the bows when it comes to that. But if you're just around town or you're casually biking or you're on the, the bus, or the train or whatever, they're completely fine. So, um, and I have tried the other size tips. It doesn't help. Uh, they do just fall out of my ear if I'm like running 
or doing something extreme. Actually, I've been okay with running. It's more, it's really like the mountain biking that they don't work well for me. So, but anyways, in conclusion, again, I would buy them again. Um, and I can't wait for their next version of it. Thanks for listening.